Welcome to another moment of truth. We thank the Lord for what the Lord has been teaching us on the area of God factor. But we have not really spoken about the fact God as a factor. But we are talking about other things that will help us to understand what factor does and how it can be very useful and how devastating it can be. We started speaking on the fear on fear as a factor. But let us push that as a little bit. When you look at Numbers chapter 13, verse 32 and verse 33. Numbers 13, verse 32 and 33. And they brought up an evil report of the land, which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search it is a land that eateth up its inhabitants. Therefore, thereof, sorry, and all the people that, was, that we saw in it are men of great stature. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which came of the giant, and we were in our sight as grasshopper, and so we were in their sight. Now, hear what they said. These are people that trusted God. They left Egypt. They have, remember, they have crossed, they have crossed river uh, Red Sea at that time. They have passed through terrible journey in the wilderness, and they came to the edge just for them to cross the Jordan and enter into the promised land. Fear struck. Fear, I told you, fear became a factor to reckon with, to avoid. But unfortunately, they fell the victim. They saw the people. They saw the giant. They were looking at the people. They were not looking at their God. And fear came in. And when fear as a factor divided them as a denominator, there was nothing that remained there. They had no confidence to go into the land that they have been praying for several years to enter. So many of us have been trusting God for a glorious entry into this second quarter. So many of us, we have been trusting God for a visitation. And because of one challenge or the other, little did we know, because of ordinary pandemic, a lot of people ran elter skelter as if they had no God. They allowed fear to divide them. And when fear finally divided most of them, today, some of them are in the grave. Some of you, you are a walking corpse. Because fear has practically divided your, your, your faith in God. Sir, God is, has not called you unto a point of fear, but unto faith. Don't allow fear to be a factor that divides you. Numbers 14, 33. And your children shall wander in the wilderness 40 years and bear your wisdom until your carcasses be wasted in the wilderness. Did you see what fear can do? It will cause a man's body, their carcass, their bones were scattered in the wilderness all over the place. The same thing is happening now. Too many of us, we are not able to take a large stride to go forward. Too many of us, we are not able to trust God. We allow the fear of the economic possible possible economic crunch. We allow the fear of the challenge of what will happen tomorrow to divide us. Remember our definition? To divide us as a denominator. And when fear is there, what it does is to scatter people's bone in the wilderness of life. Take note, in the wilderness of life, not in the wilderness or desert of Arabia. No, even as we go in life, a lot of us, we are useless to our generation. We are useless to ourselves. We are useless to circumstances and situations around us. We are even useless to our community. Why? Because we allow fear as a factor to divide us. And at the end of the day, we are not able to achieve our purpose. Destructive effect, fear, the, the destructive effect of fear is very terrible. And this is what I am calling you. God, to, to listen to, God has destined you to be on top. Don't allow fear to erode the design and the purpose of God in your life. No, sir. Fear is a terrible factor. And that is what the devil uses against most of us in the journey of life. Now, look at what he did in the life of Mr. Saul, King Saul and David. The Bible says in that 1 Samuel chapter 17, 
1 Samuel chapter 17. When you look at verse number 11, the Bible says, when Saul, saw, when Saul and all Israel heard those words of the Philistines, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. But here, what, what, what the same situation, look at David in verse 32. And David said to Saul, let no man's heart fall, uh, fail, fail him because of him. Thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. Now, look at two people. One overcome, overcome with fear. The other one decided to trust God. Fear rendered both King Saul and the whole of Israel incapacitated. It's a terrible factor. Whenever it comes into the life of a man, into the life of a marriage, into the life of a, of, of a student, or maybe anything you are doing, please, please, please. The opposite of faith is fear. Fear is a factor that divides without anything remaining. No remainder. Don't allow fear to dominate your life. Don't allow fear as a factor to dominate you. Let the Almighty God be able to walk on your heart and you may be able to trust God and become the best that He wants you to be. Go and be your best in the course of this glorious week and the Lord be with you all in Jesus' name. Amen. <music>